Hi, I'm Dr. Rasya Dikshit. I'm a practicing dermatologist who has been in private practice in Bangalore from the last 15 years. Among one of the most common physiological conditions that a woman will experience in her life, it is pregnancy. And after pregnancy, there are a whole lot of changes which happen in the woman's body, least of which are the changes which occur in the skin and hair. And most women after pregnancy, after delivery, about two to three months later, or during lactation, they experience massive hair fall and this condition is well documented as acute telogen effluvium. What this basically means is this, that when we have our hair, most of our hair are in the growth phase called as anagen, which is the growth phase. And before the hair falls, it shifts into telogen and from telogen for it to come out of the scalp, it takes about two to three months, anywhere between eight weeks to 12 weeks. Now what is happening here is that during pregnancy that long period of progesterone hormone is protecting the hair follicles and immediately after delivery the progesterone level decreases and this causes a lot of the hair I told you 90% was in anagen 40 to 50% suddenly move synchronously into telogen this means that after two months of this event of delivery there is going to be a massive hair loss and this is a common condition no matter what treatment you do at that time, there might not be an improvement in the hair fall rate. So what is this condition is not worrying for the dermatologist because we know that the hair does grow back normally. But we are seeing later and later pregnancies nowadays. People are delaying the pregnancies. So they may have concomitant skin problems like thyroid problems. They might have vitamin deficiency. All this contribute to the hair not growing back. So what I'm trying to tell you is hair loss after pregnancy, it's a natural event, it's a physiological event, it's called telogen effluvium, hair will grow back naturally. But when it doesn't grow back, that is when you have to think of ruling out a thyroid problem or a vitamin deficiency or a dietary deficiency or even a pre-existing polycystic ovary. So the best way or the best remedy for this is first, as soon as you start having the hair loss, go see a dermatologist who can do all this evaluation tell you what is the correct diet to be taken and make sure that your vitamin levels are balanced so that your hair can come back to its natural element.